Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. I uh, hope all of you are doing pretty well. It's a Sunday, it's a weekend. I hope you are having a lot of fun. So let me just uh, talk about today uh, something I got it very interesting from one of my subscribers, uh, Mahmood. And uh, he actually sent out this Excel file to me. I'm going to show. And he said that he's not able to make the X axis on this chart. And uh, he wants obviously the help. So let us try to figure it out guys um, why we are getting this x axis wrong and what is the solution. Now uh, for those who have recently uh, joined the channel uh, first of all very warm greeting to you. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel and uh, it's, it's an honor to have you here because um, day by day I am getting lot of lot of subscribers now so the channel is actually now booming. Uh, and uh, we have got all these uh, 555 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, MS Access, MS Access VBA and Outlook VBA as well. Uh, many of you have requested that Access VBA videos are uh, quite less comparatively to the Excel VBA. Well, uh, if you uh, go and uh, make those videos a big hit in terms of, you know, having a more clicks, guys, I will definitely go and upload it. But somehow I feel when I upload the access videos, no matter how good content we're going to upload, uh, because I take your direct questions, uh, I don't really see that people are so interested, though it is a fantastic thing and uh, uh, it can take your career to a new height after all. Uh, nothing is better than the connectivity between excel and access so if you know excel vpa you know access vpa you can fully fully you know exploit these two applications you can manipulate that you can do whatever you want you can make pretty awesome things right okay so now uh i want to read out the uh, this i mean uh, i want to show you the excel file you know i got it uh this is not the real data uh, because he had some company data and he wanted uh, me to prepare some dummy data but i found the problem and the problem if you look at this data guys maybe you would have come across this now you see this chart is not showing the x-axis properly you got you you get here one two three four we don't need that you know we need the year here like for 1980 what was the performance for 1981 what was the performance and all that stuff right so what is the issue now you might be thinking that uh, he has selected the wrong data I can show you in the design view if I use select the select data you see the data is coming correct there's no point in that right even if I show you if I delete this and let's say we want to start this the chart from the beginning I go here and I click on the this let's say 2d column chart and I go and select the data from here that's how we make the charts isn't it so we go and select the data like when I click ok you know somehow my x axis is not getting created and in fact in the y axis if you see this looks absurd because your number should not be greater than 364 in the 1988 you have the highest performance right but the number you look at this starts it goes up to 2500 so actually what is happening here is basically your x axis is considered i think in the y axis it could be any reason but what i am able to understand looking at this problem is that if you go to your you know the design view select data don't select the table like this you should go and break this table in the two ways you go and give your legends manually you go and give your access manually i'm not sure how many of you know that but generally when we create the chart we always select the data but sometimes the problem comes like this now i'll tell you why the problem is coming like this first of all guys actually your x axis basically picks up the x axis you know the in on the x axis on this horizontal axis if you go and convert this 1980 into a text you know it's gonna pick up it i think the chart intelligence get confused here because this is also the output in the number this is also the output in the number output means the actually the formatting and the, that is the reason somehow your chart inter intelligence is not able to pick up these things now for example to prove what i'm saying i go delete this you know now these are all the things which comes with the experience you know uh, maybe i i may not be 100 percent correct but i know that this solution is 100 percent correct so what i'm saying uh, is that we want this here in the x-axis and we want this in the y-axis so in the y-axis obviously you can show up the numbers no problem but the in the x-axis because these are actually the year and year always are you know th these are the numbers actually so that's why the axis gets confused so why don't we just go ahead and write here you know 1980 year 
can we not do that i think we can do that there should be no problem in that right you can go and drag this now when you go and drag this you see that you get here 1981 1982 all that stuff because i'm on the fill series okay uh, now 1980 year is also fine but uh, i guess i undo it and i i prefer writing before this yeah okay isn't it or maybe you can just write y as well what a big deal you can do that you know so so but i just go and write it as year now when you write year it becomes text obviously now guys let's go and insert the chart here okay so i go and insert the chart i keep my selection on the blank cell and i go and click on this and now we go and uh, go to the select data under the chart tools and i select this data now the same procedure i'm gonna click ok look at this guys amazing you get all the years you may have never even noticed this now the problem is solved now x axis know what it has to do y axis is already clear because if the x axis is going to clear chart will not be confused in the x axis and the y axis now later obviously you can do whatever you want that i leave it to you i'm not here to basically tell you about the designing part but guys the x axis is done you know what we have done we have converted this into year that was the problem area okay now let me just undo all the things there we go what is the another thing you can do now let's say you say that no i don't want to show here 1980 with the year i mean year what should not come there is there is some compulsion and the compulsion is that you got to use the numbers only what are you going to do no problem let's go and insert the chart the blank chart let's insert the blank chart now you know what you do when you click on the select data by the way you can also right click on the chart and you can go the to the select data from here also now i'm not going to give the chart range here guys let's not do that what you just go and do the manual thing here legends what are the legends legends are the those values which publishes on the which gets reflected on the y axis click on the add what legend you want output you want output right so you can write here output or whatever you want to do i mean you can also select the cell that's okay this is the header which will be created in the legend but what this legend refers to so you go and select the entire series done we are okay click okay you can see the chart getting formed similarly go to the horizontal axis click on the edit where is your axis this is my axis yes this is my axis go and click okay when you want to click okay you see that automatically the chart is going to be formed this is the another method this is also you can do so not necessary that every time you have to select the data you can also give the legends and the horizontal axis is you know that way if you have one more output let's say i write here output uh, 2 and there is one more number i'm going to write here let's say this is your number okay so what if you have the two outputs no problem again you go and right click and select data and you want to add it in the legend obviously because x axis remains the same it can have only one value you add the legend what is the legend the new legend it's output 2 you can select you can type in as well and i go and select this and i go and click okay now we should be able to see the two legends right now when i add the legend you see your axis again gone right though it shows here 1980 1981 1982 well it shows i think it is fine but again maybe you can go here and you would like to change that because whenever the change happens x axis going to kind of you know remove from here so this is also the another method right so that's all up to you what you want i prefer using the ear guys right you can use the ear um, now let me again uh, delete this uh, particular chart now as i said that you know maybe if 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 your team says that they don't want to see the ear here because they just want the ear to reflect there as a number then maybe we can do one thing guys uh you know what you can do one thing uh you convert this number into a text isn't it i think that way maybe you will be able to form the chart so we have a different way of doing it uh i don't have to convert this to, uh, you know to convert this to into a text i don't really have to include the ear you know i don't have to write there y e a r there are several ways of doing it the idea is just make this as a text and you know numbers can be converted into a text if you do not know then this is for your information now but how are you going to convert this into a text you just go and use the text function here and you select this value and say that i want to convert this into text uh, uh, convert into a text so just write there you know three times hash and just press enter 
So what happens, you see, the number immediately moved to the left side. And if the number is moved to the left side, you know what does that mean? That means it is converted. And you can check that. See this, I'm going to use the is text function here. Are you the text? Yes, it says true. I'm going to paste it here, paste special alt ts and press paste value. So I just go and use this as a paste value. We don't need this now. I go and delete that everything from here. Now let's go and make the chart on this guys. Okay, so I just go and give the same formatting to this let's say output too. Now you go and uh, make the chart and I'm sure the chart will get found because now this is year is not a number though it looks like a number but you converted that. So let's go and check that and these are all the fundamentals you know if you know that you can sort out anything. So now I go and select the data and uh, now I go and select the entire table. I'm not now going in the legend and the horizontal separately i'm just gonna press ok let's see guys look at this guys fantastic i'm really i thought and enjoyed this thank you so much for your wonderful question dear subscriber so this is uh, something if you ever have faced guys this is how you can sort out now these numbers you know they look like a number and it doesn't matter because user whether it is a number or it is a text as long as it is telling me that the performance was in 1980 1981 it does not matter to me what it is in the background right but is it is a text so that's why you are able to see this now in the x-axis so i have given you i think three solutions right you can go and uh, select the source data you can separately make the legends horizontal axis the second thing is you can convert the year into a text using the text function right and the third thing is that uh, you can also directly write here alphabet called year 1980 or y whatever i mean the moment you insert you insert any character in the number you join it with the number you know that becomes the alphanumeric number and that was the whole purpose so i hope uh, you uh, thoroughly enjoyed this uh, another series in the ms automation because i'm picking up these all the questions uh, 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 you know uh, from from the emails you write and the comments you post on my channel uh, and they are all, i i am uploading all these under the ms automation so that uh, people who want to make their career in the ms and people who are in the ms you know these sort of scenarios we generally face in our day to day working so I hope this is going to give you a uh, great help. So thank you so much guys and uh, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep loving and uh, spread the knowledge among community. Let's, you know, when we gain something, it's our more, you know, moral responsibility also to give it back to the society. So thank you so much and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.